Oh, hey, Vent TV viewers. Today we're gonna do an underwater photo shoot with Caroline using the iPhone 14 Pro. Would it be too much to say, let's dive into the view? I think that'd be a little too on the nose, right? Let's dive in. <laughs> Easy offer change. Yep, okay. So this is, this is a nice flowy outfit. I really like this. I think that should look pretty good underwater. We have an iPhone 13 Pro ready to go underwater as well. That's gonna be our second camera. That's my assistant. Oh, it's so bright. Why is it so bright? There we go. Yeah, so this should be pretty good. I'm pretty stoked for this. Okay, so how long do you think you can hold your breath for? 30 seconds? Yeah, let's do like 30 second minutes. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So we've got two lights here. So we've got the light from above. We've got this light that alternates colors and they are waterproof. So we're gonna put them underneath the water and see what we can get. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for this. I think this should be pretty cool. What about you, Chelsea? Are you very excited for this? Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm excited for the results. I'm not excited for the problem. Yeah, the, the, the pool is a little chilly. It is a little chilly. So we're gonna kinda, see what happens here. This is gonna be great. Should have followed her. <laughs> it's too cold. I know, I'm cold Okay, too. let's get this shit done, because yep. it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, it's nighttime, I'm cold. We shot a lot of photos, Caroline's cold. Let's go back to the studio and see what we can do with these photos. Okay, so now that we're back in the studio, we're gonna look at some of these photos. Now, I did use a combination of Lightroom and Luminar Neo, and these are pretty heavily edited. I wanted to give these more of a dreamy, kind of erythral look, which I think is appropriate for underwater photography. So let's take a look at what we have. All right, so here's our first image. If we tap this little eye right here, it gives us all the information, iPhone 14 Pro, the back camera. Now, the camera on the iPhone will only shoot 48 megapixels on the regular 24 millimeter, not the ultra wide, not the super zoom. Just be aware of that. It actually has a pretty big resolution. Might, might even be a larger resolution than my Sony a7 IV. We're at 53.6 megabytes. That's a good size file there. So this is what we started with, and this is what I turned it into. I put a nice vignette on there, gave her more of an olive skin, which is more accurate to her skin tone, and just lightly edited the skin a little bit in terms of the softness, but overall, you know, you can tell here that I kind of cleaned up all these little black dots here as well. Those are all gone too, just to kind of clean up the image a little bit, put a nice vignette on there, so love her hair there. This was the second image. Um, very similar to the first, but just a different look, and then kind of the same editing on the second one there as well. Now this one, we went underwater, I, I originally just kind of cropped this to be a different, uh, so that way you have this kind of angle rather than what it was before, so really like this one, like the bubbles on her face, and this is what I turned it into, wanted to really give her kind of a glow underwater, and give the water just a more dramatic look and feel to it. So really, really like that one as well. And then this one, we kind of liked what her hair was doing. So I took the second image there, very similar, and kind of turned it into that. So not bad there, kind of like that. So this was our darker lit photos. I just used the underwater lights that we looked at first in the video earlier. So. Back camera, 44 megapixels, 45.9 megabytes, so good file size there. And then we turned it into this. I had to do at least one black and white, at least one. So we have this wonderful black and white photo of her under the water here, really, really like that one. This is our next image here, really like this one. Now this is still with the underwater lights. We have a red light over here on her side, and then we have a blue light shining down from above. 5774 by 7698. 1 40th of a second, so not as sharp as I would like it to be, but you can't really control the manual settings of the iPhone underwater. 
so I kind of just went with what it was, ISO 800, and this is what I turned it into. Really just dreamy, I went pretty dramatic and dreamy on these photos, but really, really like this one here. And then we have our last photo. Love the pose on this one, really happy with this one. We are at 47.3 megabytes, so pretty good file sizes for, for a phone. And then this is what I turned it into. I think this was probably my favorite image here. I wanted to kind of go with like this still in the womb kind of feeling, you know what I mean, type thing. So we kind of edited it for that way as well. And that's our last image. So hopefully you guys found this video fun. Your phone is water resistant, but I'd probably get Apple Care just in case. But if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.